happy to be 3-0. I thought we got a, a great opportunity to win a, a valuable lesson today. Uh, first half, I thought we were pretty good. Second half, I thought we uh, got a little satisfied. I think it showed in our play. Uh, we played them even in the second half, but all in all, we, we got the chance to learn a valuable lesson and still be 3-0, and, and uh, I'm happy to protect home court. Uh, 12 minutes in, um, it was 26-17, and you guys scored again after that, and then you sustained that double digit game. How are you able to sustain it in that play? I don't think we've grown up quite a bit. I think we, we've matured quite a bit, but I thought the second half today, I thought we left 20 minutes on the table. I thought we left money on the table, and I don't think that um, I don't think that that's something that we want to do. Um, uh, but all in all, I think our maturity has helped us. I think that's what got us the double-digit lead, and and then uh, immaturity probably satisfaction probably gave up the second half. Coach, in the first half, the threes were obviously falling down, and the second half. They really weren't, and when Leah had the ball taking it in, it seemed to be working. Did you tell them at some point to, you know, attack the basket because the threes weren't falling? Well, no. What I think happened on our, our shot attempts, I, I thought we, uh, our energy, I think the energy feeds that. I think it feeds turnovers, and, and, and I thought we were a little bit lackadaisical in that area, and I think, you know, you're not running into the same shot. You're jogging into the shot. You're, you know, doing things like that. So, but we shot the ball so well in the first half that they had to spread out. And, and then it gives us lanes to the basket, and we're going to attack outside in or inside out or, or whatever we're going to do. But uh, I think that's the reason for the, the lack of success from three-point line in the second half. How vital was the 2-3 defense in this first game? Ah, we're going to mix it up some, and I, I thought it did a good job. I thought we could you know, get on it, get off of it, and, and uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of it. Second half, they killed us in rebounding. Um, at one point, they had nine or ten offensive rebounds in a row, and those are energy plays. Uh, today, we were the more talented team, thank heaven, uh, because in the second half, they, they got us. Shooting a lot of threes, and, and you said it's something you can look forward to. Is that part of the system this year? Is that what your identity is going to be? Oh, I like to shoot it. You know, I mean, that, I, I like to shoot I like for everybody to shoot it. And, uh, you know, I think we had some, uh, some success from there because we're shooting the ball a lot more on our own. Um, uh, but we're just going to take whatever the defense gives us. And, uh, you know, when our offense was good, I thought the floor was spread. They don't know where to help from. We were making easy plays when our offense wasn't good. It was all jumbled up. The floor wasn't very spaced. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to shoot open shots, and, and I thought we did that. I thought we even passed up a couple. I, I didn't think we took – I can't think of one bad three that we took that, that I wouldn't consider open. And, I, you know, I'll be the first one to tell you we shoot a challenge shot. Narisha and Leon, you guys combined for seven of the 11 threes tonight. How are you two able to get so open? Um, well, I took advantage of they were sagging off because they didn't want to drive, so I just took advantage of the rhythm and shot the open three. I think we just have the energy and just get into open spots and um, just allow me to, uh, to make my shots and get good looks. Uh, knowing that I was the driver, so I just took advantage of what the defense gave me. Leah, you had your uh, career high. Twenty-three. Did you know coming in that you're going to be able to take advantage of your matchup? No, not really. I just settled down and just took it slow and just focus on what was at pass. Just doing what we do. Based on what we saw today, and my memory such as it is, you're much improved over what you were last year. Where did the improvement come from? How did you achieve that? Oh. Um, uh, let me let me go first before they go. Maturity one. Okay. Uh, I think that that's hugely important, and they've been through it. I mean, they've already been through it a year, so they know what my tone of voice is. They know what we expect every day in practice. Our conditioning is better, and uh, I think that that's benefited us from from a coaching standpoint. Yeah, I agree with Coach Maturity, and just working real hard before the season came around. Did you have a successful spring after your regular season tournament play last spring? Yeah, I think we had a good offseason and a good preseason too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but we were able to keep everybody here over the summer and, and, and work them out. And I think we benefited from that. But, uh, you know, we we got a lot of room to improve and we got to go back on the road. You know, one thing's 
we do know that we can win on the road, but it's another thing to go do it night in and night out. And we're going to go play two opponents this next week over Thanksgiving break. It'll it'll test you. I mean, you know, Cornell is going to be a, obviously a high basketball IQ team, and then uh, Coastal Carolina understands the game well, but they scored 121 points the other night. And and so we'll have to we'll have to be really focused and, and uh, go try and steal more on the road. Time for one more. Rebounding major uh, deficit there today. Something that you can do about that? I think we keep, I mean, we got 82% of our defensive rebounds against Fairfield. 82% of our defensive rebounds against Fairfield at the end of the day. Okay. I think our energy was up. I think our energy was relaxed. It was primarily in the second half today. Yeah. I think it all has to do with energy. Shots not falling, turnovers, execution, floor spacing, defensive rebounding. I think that it's all uh, based off the energy of the day. So the lack of, the lack of rebound and lack of energy yes. exists today. All right, thanks, guys. Thank